it's your second game in less than 24 hours. How does it, you know, how does the prep feel and how did the game feel? Uh, we, coach has uh, been scheduling these games like this to prepare us for conference. So we've been just, after yesterday's game, he just emphasized taking care of our body, stretching, and doing whatever we need to do to prepare for this game. And it definitely worked because we felt new and we came out strong. Do you guys feel you can keep this up for the, you know, for when conference play kicks in? You're going to have to do it quite a bit. Yeah, I think we can. Uh, really, it just come down to being mentally tough. And that's what the coaches are telling us. So that's just what it's going to take. We have to do it. It's been an awkward year, so it's just something we'll get used to. But I think we'll be good. After last game, you know, there's a big rebounding disparity between uh, you guys and Greensboro. And in this game, it was no different, 49 to 19. Was that kind of the play going in, was just to you know, out-muscle them and to clean up glass? Uh, we talked about it a lot before the game, just that we would have opportunities to get rebounds and offensive rebounds, so just second chance shots. And we just went out there and did that. Uh, is there one thing you take away from this game, thinking like, hey, we got to do this a little bit better? Uh, yeah, we still got a lot of stuff to work on. Uh, guarding man, straight up, uh, gaps, getting our gaps. Uh, and we could have even done even better rebounding. But, uh, yeah, we, we still got a lot of stuff to work on, and we're going to work on it be ready for Auburn. All right, that's all I got. All right, Silas. Uh, yeah, obviously you guys had a, a really dominant performance um, on the glass, and then – and second chance points too. Y'all guys, y'all won sixteen to one. Um, just can you talk about how how y'all crashed the glass on the offensive boards tonight? Uh, yeah, he got an emphasis on rebounding because he knew we going to the, into the game. He knew we had a size advantage. So doing, yeah. So that's what we focused on. And if we crashed, we knew he was gonna get the ball. And we weren't missing too many shots. Uh, so that was good. And then I guess there at the end, you guys closed. Uh, th some of the, res the reserves came in. Sasha hit a couple of threes. Um, just what can you say about the guys off the bench and what it was like to see some of them uh, have a nice finish to the game, close it out there? Well, it's just exciting just to see them get out there and just play with confidence because next thing you know, it'll be their time. So <clears throat> it just makes us happy knowing that they can just step on the court and just play their game. All right. I mean, it's, it's always good to win. Um, we got some guys, some good minutes, some good reps. Um, we did some good things. I thought defensively holding Benton, who came in averaging 26 points a game to, you know, one for nine and, and five points. Um, that's why these games are important. We were able to get some reps, and, and, and but we've got we've to clean up the assist turnover ratio. That's something that's disappointing. Um, it should be way, way better. Uh, but we need to practice. We haven't practiced. Um, and in, in, in a while uh, because we just played three games this week. And, uh, and so we, we need a chance to regroup and then get back to get back to practice and cleaning that stuff up. All right, uh, Ian, we'll let you go. And then Silas after. All right. uh, Coach, less than 24 hours ago, we talked about, you know, having to play back to backs and then, you know, obviously preparing for conference schedule. And something you said was, you know, really the best way to prepare for it is to do it. So now that you've done it, how does it feel? Well, it's, it's, it's unique, right? It's interesting. It's not something we do often. And now we're going to have to do it a lot. And so we, we really, um, you know, really went through a trial run with day with our preparation, starting with, with a nine o'clock film session. Uh, we got back together for a shoot around an 11 pregame meal. And so that was, that was really good practice. Uh, but but I really, you know, we, we talked to our guys about this, this second game on a back to back. It's about mentally tough. It's about mental toughness. And it's about, um, you know, being able to 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 go out and execute and, and, and play again. And so uh, quick turnaround. But you know what? We're going to we're going to see that a lot here coming up. And, and we've got to uh, we've got to certainly handle it better. And then once again, you got some uh, some guys deeper on the bench, some good minutes. Uh, I know that you mentioned yesterday that was something that you're really keen on doing as we head in the conference schedule. Uh, you know, how are you feeling about what they've been able to do on court? Yeah, good. You know, I, like once again, I, I mean, I think we all we all have high expectations, which is good. We need high expectations, right? And so, I, I don't want to sound disappointed with a 36 point uh, win, but but 
Um, we're still figuring things out, especially now that we're adding Deshaun Parker to the mix. And, and so, you know, getting in a rhythm, getting in a flow offensively is, is, is uh, you know, going to be critical for us coming up. Um, but I thought we got some guys some, some good minutes. And um, uh, I thought we rebounded well. Uh, I thought we made free throws. I mean, that, that, that has nothing to do with your opponent. And so I, I thought that um, we were able to get some guys some good minutes. Is there uh, – I, I know it obviously hasn't been that long, but is there any word on Justin Forrest in the last day? <laughs> no, he's still uh, progressing through the protocol. He was able to do some light shooting and some, uh, and some, and, and some stuff today. And so we'll keep – keep progressing with him and, and um, move forward. Yeah, that's all I got. Thanks, Ian. Silas, Thanks. go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'll ask a couple. Um, so, again, tonight the trend has kind of continued in, in a lot of games. Most of the starting five, again, everybody in the starting five scored at least eight. You, you all guys have done really well at sharing the ball and, like, uh, really just getting contributions um, up and down the roster just so – what have you been pleased with that, and do you expect that trend to continue as the season progresses? Yeah, you know, Silence. I've talked to our guys about every day's an interview, and so you know, I thought RJ Duhart played really well last night, and so I gave him the nod with his first start. And so, um, you know, I, I I I want our team to have that type of mentality where they show up and they play well. You're going to get rewarded. If you don't show up, you don't play well. You're not. And and I and I think that. Uh, you know, competition breeds success, and I, and I and I feel like that we've we've started a lot of different lineups just based off of that reason. Hey, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go with um, you know the, who who's locked in and playing well. We got a lot of bodies. That's that's a positive. I um, mean, then I guess this is the first time I talked to you since Deshaun got activated. So I just kind of wanted to ask, um, what have you seen from him over the past two games? I know he. Didn't have the most efficient game tonight, but I mean, when he that that layup he had, he looked really good. Um, just just what can you say about him? Yeah, Deshaun's a good player, you know. And, and and once again, it's it's we're late December, and it's hard to just all of a sudden pick up and just find out you're playing and play, and then do it again. And 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 even though he's practiced, it's different. And so you know, um, we haven't had a practice with him now that he's activated yet, and so even though once again, he's practiced with the team. It's just, he's a good player. Uh, he, he's, a, he's, we, he's an energy giver. We need him to, um, he, you know, be able to, to, to come out with, with more assist and, and play make ability and run the team. But he, uh, um, he, he's a good player. We're really excited about him being able to play this year. Um, and then another thing I noticed just off the stat sheet, um, Second chance points were really big. I mean, you guys, it was really a pretty dominant performance pretty much just on the defensively and on the boards. And y'all got out and ran 16 fast break points to zero. Um, so a really good overall performance um, against a team like this. Just uh, how, how pleased are you with the way your team came out and played? I'm pleased. I'm pleased with the defensive effort, 41 points, especially against a guy that came in averaging uh, 26 a game, you know, we held him to one to nine, one for nine. I, I mean, he's a good player. And so, um, you know, I, I was pleased with our effort defensively. Once again, the only thing I'm not pleased with right now is our assist turnover ratio that, that that's got to get better and it should be better.